there anything more important than our students and their education and their future? Absolutely not. In fact, I think those questions are important enough that we start to change the conversation. We need to change the conversation from who's running schools to are they good enough? Are they preparing our kids for the future? Are they excellent? The story you're about to see in this documentary will show you the challenges of opening a new school to attempt to increase the quality of schools. It's going to tell you a story of attempting to apply solutions uh, to improve our schools. It is a story of a charter school, but in a way, it's not the story of a charter school because it's the same kind of challenge, it's the same kind of problems we face, whether you're Teach for America, whether you're the Detroit Public Schools, whether you're the EAA, whether you're anyone working to try to raise the bar and improve the quality of education. And yet in this city, even though we've got 40% of our schools are charter schools, this isn't about charters or DPS or other schools. This is about which of the schools are performing at the level they deserve and unique deserves and which of them aren't. And how do we get that information in parents' hands? And we're not doing a very good job of that right now. So uh, one of the things that I think has to take place next is to make sure we get that kind of information available. We have schools in this city that are performing at that kind of level and they have empty seats. And we have other schools that are performing way below those levels and they're still full. And it doesn't matter if it's a DPS school or a charter school. I'm just committed to the city and uh, committed to the growth of Detroit. And uh, being someone that's been fortunate enough to travel so many places, I just realized how far Detroit is behind. The unfortunate thing, and it's not just Detroit, it's um, nationally, is that the quality of your public education is really based on how much money your parents make. And that's the dirty secret that's out there now. Um, I went to high school at a public school. My kids go to a private school. That's why I was determined to start a charter school. I was fortunate enough to have Jalen and Mapsa come to my committee to talk about why we needed more choice for parents. Jalen already had his school. There was nearly 12,000 students on a waiting list to get into charters in the state of Michigan. But I understand that Jalen understands competition and the more the better. And so when parents look at that and you have that many people on a waiting list, it's, it, it's pretty evident that there needs to be a change and needs to be an alternative. So. Well, uh, it was before, you know, you need she was always a good student, but you know, it was the, the system that she was in that it wasn't so great that, you know, she didn't really have a, a chance to force like we knew that she could. And uh, us working together and knowing that, you know, we can do much better if we got her in the right environment. We try to prepare them for the real world. Well, this is real. They are losing. And at what time, where as a parent do you say enough is enough? Do you wait until the 12th grade year when they don't walk? Mm -hmm. Or do you catch them when they're on their way to high school and say, you know what, no, we need to make some good changes right now. So that's what it is for me. And what we're looking to build is, or continue to take from good to great, is a school that is better than all of that. So that when that question is asked, People will have the answer, oh yeah, Jalen Rose Leadership Academy is the answer. My challenge is, is taking this information back and relaying it to not only the members of my education committee that help and serve with me, but to the full legislature, and then to carry that message on to the House of Representatives where we have three state reps here today. We need community engagement. It is helping people. Researchers and experts will tell us this. There's places like New York and New Orleans and other places around the country that are engaging in this. Chicago is a good example where we need to understand the problems better, help remove obstacles, help bring solutions to the table, and make some things happen. And those are the things that are in front of us today in Detroit. We have people committed like Jalen, and we have many of you that are here tonight. Or you, you, know, you care or you wouldn't be here. So it is getting in and understanding a few of those problems, digging a little deeper, uh, jumping out of the momentum that there is all over this city and helping to solve some of those problems. 